Uh, it's about 90% the size of England. But the population of Pennsylvania is a quarter that of England. And the bulk of the population in Pennsylvania is here and here. This is um, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. This is the Alapation Mountains. The Alapations are a unique geography because it's what's called a triple divide. The water runs off in three directions. It runs into the Great Lakes, runs into the Atlantic, and then it runs into the Great River System, the Mississippi, Missouri, Ohio rivers, and ultimately feeds out into the Gulf of Mexico. New York has banned hydraulic fracking right across the state, but New York has a serious problem because a massive amount of its water supply comes from Pennsylvania. So what you've got is the people from New York campaigning in Pennsylvania to try and get the, uh, the industry shut down in Pennsylvania. But it's like here, where an MP won't talk to you unless you actually live in their constituency. So consequently, the New Yorkers really have no voice in Pennsylvania. And of course, they're having to try and work with their elected uh, politicians. But what a lot of people don't realize is that each state in the US has more autonomy than a country in the EU. Each state has its governor and it has its senate. And the autonomy of those levels of, uh, of governance are greater than anything we have in the EU. So consequently, you can see why New York has a problem, because it's like dealing with another country. So, Gasland came about, and in fact, it is thanks to Josh Fox that you know, we have the level of awareness of the hydraulic fracturing process in the wider consciousness. Because it was in 2009, you know, Josh is uh, a landowner in Pennsylvania, and he was offered $100,000 by one of the gas companies to get access rights onto his property. Well, being a smart lad, he realized there was no such thing as a free $100,000. So he decided to take a road trip across to the Midwest to take a look at the experiences of Colorado, of New Mexico, of Oklahoma, and see what the people in these areas had experienced with the gas industry over 20 years. And what he saw so shocked him that he set about making gas land. Now, Gasland, and Josh acknowledges Gasland has received a lot of negative press. And Josh acknowledges that he, you know, when Gasland was made, he made it to be sensationalist. He certainly succeeded. But what he's done with Gasland too, he's tried to address all of the criticisms that were thrown at him over Gasland 1. And Gasland 2 is much more centered on the science. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to get Obama to meet with the scientists that contributed to the making of Gasland 2. But I'm going to show you a very short clip from a documentary that, in my opinion, is far better than Gasland. It's one that's more difficult to remember because the title doesn't roll off the tongue like Gasland. It's called Split Estate. Now, Split Estate refers to the legal definition of who owns what. So, Pennsylvania, Colorado, New Mexico, the UK, Australia are split estate. In other words, the landowner owns the surface and access to the surface. And you'll give them permission to access about that much of the topsoil, about enough to grow a root vegetable. But woe betide you if you find any gold or silver in there or any hydrocarbons. Because ostensibly that's owned by the Crown. Not the Crown as in the Queen, the Crown as in the City of London. <laughs> 